Hello guys, welcome to Vlogmas day. I think we're on five now. I did actually miss out a few days last week. Um, I honestly just got so overwhelmed. I had suddenly like an influx of jobs that all had to be in. It was quite a quick turnaround and I was just spending my evenings sitting and editing those ads. And I honestly just didn't have it in me to sit and edit like another hour vlog, like spend an hour editing the vlogs. I do apologise, I'm on a really creaky floorboard. I do apologise, I've actually missed vlogging so, so much, so I'm very happy to be back this week. Honestly guys, I'm just not, today is just not, I don't know, I don't know what is going on with me, like today is just not my day. Like nothing's really wrong, but I just cannot get any motivation for the life of me. I've just had a shower and hair wash, I've just popped a bit of makeup on because honestly that was a struggle enough, but I laid in this morning, which I don't normally do ever but it was really needed but i just kind of set my day off on a bit of a a bit of a bad like not on a good i can't even talk it didn't set my day off in the, in the best way basically so i'm trying to make up for it now i've got up i've showered i've at least been a little bit productive and i've just got like random things to do but i don't have loads of things to do it's just like just random little things and i just honestly just cannot be bothered i feel like it gets this time of year and i'm just like I'm just like lacking inspiration, I'm lacking motivation, and yeah, that is just me keeping it real, that is just the life of being self-employed. Um, I never really get a break over Christmas, like I literally still work pretty much all over Christmas, that's why I'm trying to bank a load of content now, so that I don't need to like work all over Christmas or be like super busy, but I just keep getting jobs, which I'm so grateful for, but I'm just like, oh god, it's another like week where I've where I'm working so honestly honestly I'm just dead I don't know what's wrong with me um but I think I'm gonna do straight hair today I've actually just put some of this mask in my hair this is the pattern styling cream sorry it's not a mask it's styling cream I'm gonna put a bit more in um I've actually never used this I'm hoping it's gonna be okay on my hair but I've just spent ages like washing conditioning all of my hair and I've just realized I'm getting it done on Friday so it's gonna need washing again tomorrow so <sighs> guys i just can't I just can't get it together today i don't know what's wrong with me also i'm just looking like i'm so pale and i've i think i've actually spent like most of this morning scrubbing off my fake tan you can probably see from my neck it's not all off and it's just wiped me out like scrubbing off fake tan in the winter has got to be one of the worst things in the world like just literally just scrubbing away at your skin like i've literally made my skin so dry and so red from like literally scrubbing it so that is absolutely amazing as well and i've just got hair cream all over the floor so that is also amazing let's prop you down a bit um i've got a few things to show you guys i did an order on amazon last night for some accessory bits for shooting tomorrow because i'm going to try and shoot with emily again tomorrow and we're going to try and do a huge like content banking day just to try and like get us over the christmas period so I've ordered a few bits from there, which I'll show you guys in a second. And I've also got a few like PR bits to show you guys, which I've not shown on my Instagram stories or anywhere yet. But I'll show you guys those as well. This is a bit of a better angle. Um, let's start out with some PR bits. So I've got this from Leah Lu Luo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Leah Luo. I've actually not opened any of these. So I've got no idea what is in here. Hair care with a beat. Oh, we've got some little stickers. Thank you. Um, this I'm looking is, is looking like a hairband. That's actually so helpful because I've literally just run out of my favourite shampoo and conditioner, which is the Living Proof Full Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. I literally just run out of it. So this is a nice new one. So this is the Play Nice Soothing Shampoo, which is good for sensitive scalps. I've just got to double check there's no like sulfates or anything in it so that I can use it. It's vegan, so I think it should be okay, but I'll just double check before I use them. I've also got the Play Nice Conditioner. The Go Deep Tiger Grass Hair Oil. That looks really, really cool. Really like the packaging. And I've also got the Fake It Dry Shampoo. So I'm very excited to use these products. I'll let you guys know how they are. Thank you so much, Leah Luo. I'm really hoping I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah that is what i got from there i did actually show this on my instagram but i have got the penhaligans advent calendar which 
is just a dream like Penn Halligan's fragrances were always like something I dreamed of owning when I was younger like I used to walk past them in Harrods I used to walk past them in Selfridges and just smell all of the scents I just thought that is like my dream goal and for them to like send me an advent calendar is honestly just absolutely crazy and also I'm not gonna lie I have already opened this and I've already taken out a few of the little things in it because there was a mini halfetti which I really wanted to use the other day I took it in my bag with me to my dad's so I'm gonna try and open what even is the date today 13th is it the 13th I think it's the 13th let me see if I've got oh I do have today's in the little box so let's open it together and see what we've got in here so I have a little mini this is the mini Babylon I've actually never sprayed or smelt this scent so I'm very excited to see what this is oh that is nice oh I really like that That is really nice. I think it's like literally one Pen Halligan's fragrance that I've got on like haven't loved. So I'm gonna just pop it back in there for now. Um, but yeah, I've also already taken out the 24 because it was a mini, like it was kind of like a mid a middle. What is wrong with me? I cannot talk. It was a middle sized halfetti, so I've taken that out as well. But I think I've pretty much got most of the days left in there. So that is a nice little thing to open every day because I did not have an advert calendar prior to this. And Penn Halligan's also sent me some other goodies, which I'm going to get and show you guys now. <laughs> so, here I have. So, funny story. So, I went actually to an event to go and get that Penn Halligan's advent calendar. And I literally rushed there, like literally ran. And they had sold out, like they'd all gone before I got there. So, I finally got my hands on the advent calendar. But because I missed the advent calendar, I was allowed to pick another fragrance. And I was in store and the ladies were so helpful. It was in the Covent Garden store and I picked Constance which I thought was just a really, really gorgeous scent. And I also just love the bottle. How pretty is that? Um, and I just love the smell of this, it's so sweet. I literally just love it. It smells like caramelly. It's like sweet, but it's not like a fruity sweet. It's like a, like a chocolatey, like rich sweet, which I absolutely love. So I got that and it also just comes in the loveliest box. Like all of Penn Halligan's packaging is just absolutely stunning and then i didn't realize i was getting this but i also got a cairo which is a scent that i've always wanted to try I've, i'm in love with how pretty like it is literally my go-to fragrance that i wear like every single day how pretty and cairo are, like the two main ones so let's try this i don't think i've actually smelt this one yet Ooh, let me spray it on this hand oh that is lovely as well They're just all so nice. I feel like I might still slightly prefer Halfetti, but I need to let it like sit on my skin for a little while because sometimes that can change the scent. Oh, I do love that. That is like a little bit like smoky as well. Stunning. The perfume is honestly just like the best Christmas gift you can get anyone. So then Pen Halligan's is just so aesthetic and so pretty. So I cannot thank you guys enough for Pen Halligan's like it's just unreal it's like actually insane that i've received these so thank you so much i'm so 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 grateful as always my toxic trait is literally like shoving all of my pr under the bed until i remember to vlog and show it all to you guys the next thing i actually have to show you is actually from living proof but i'm just checking that you can't see my address um these are honestly just my favorite they're probably my favorite hair care brand ever like personally for my hair i find their products are just absolutely insane this is actually oh my god that's so cute it's a little sweatshirt and i actually threw away a load of my sweatshirts in the move because they'd all just gone so bubbly and old so so nice to have a nice new soft sweatshirt so thank you guys at living proof and this is oh i've got some more dry shampoo so it's the perfect hair day dry shampoo and the advanced clean dry shampoo and it's like a little christmas gift set i'm guessing you can actually purchase this as a christmas gift set as well oh do you get the bond complex as well oh and you get a little mini bond compacts which you guys know i've shown you is like my favorite thing i'm actually gonna pop some on now while i remember when my hair's damp because this stuff is so good but finally i've got a little box from nars which is another like little pinch me moment because i remember i used to save up all of my money i think i saved up one year like all of my john lewis like work money to buy the nars creamy concealer 
and that was like one of my first like big makeup purchases and then i remember asking my nan and granddad for the foundation one year and that was like another one of my like just like dream presents to receive so the fact that i've received like a christmas pr from nars is just absolutely insane so here we have a little nars up all night mini power matte lip duo i'm guessing one is pink and one is red oh they're like tiny little mini actually yeah they are little minis so we've got this color which looks like a lovely like nude love that it's very similar to the color that i've got on and these are so good as well to like put in your handbag because they're so mini they've also got a red oh, is that red it's almost like it's a red but it's not too red it's a bit more like a nudie red which is actually really really nice i'm actually really intrigued if i like mess up one more time talking i'm gonna turn this vlog off i want to try a red lip with my dark hair because i've actually not done it yet and i never used to like my hair i'm not gonna turn you off i can't talk um i never used to like blonde hair with, with a red lip like i would do it occasionally and then i would always regret it but i've never tried it with dark hair so i'm very excited to try it that so thank you Mars. the mini afterglow liquid blush set Ooh, i love me a liquid blush um, I'm guessing that these are all like little Christmas sets you can actually buy. So I'll try and link them down below if you guys are interested. But these are like how they look. They're like little mini, mini packages. Let's swatch them for you. So this is the shade Orgasm. Hopefully I won't get demonetized for that. It's like a very pale pink. That's actually really, really nice. Shade Orgasm Rush. This is a bit more of a kind of like brownie color. That's really nice also. I feel like with the tan that would look unreal. And the final one is Dolce Vita, which is a bit more of a pink, it looks like. Oh, it's actually darker. That's probably the darkest one. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're gonna be lovely. But like the pale pink's really, really nice for like Christmassy, like like dewy vibes, and then the other two are really nice and you've got like a deep tan to like just make yourself look a bit more bronzed, which is really, really nice. This is a lovely little package. Oh, that is gorgeous. Lots of pinks. One is you could even use these as like blushes. I do that sometimes with my somewhere other palettes, like the pinky colours. But this gold is so nice. That's so nice. And the rose gold. Willala. Love that. Thank you so much, Nars. I'm very, 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 very grateful. And then, like I said, I ordered some bits from Amazon because I'm shooting tomorrow and I feel like I don't want to buy any more new clothes right now because it's just a bit of a weird time like it's not like January sales I want to wait for the January sales and like I'm not really buying any new winter pieces but I really wanted to shoot some like different style outfits so I just bought a load of accessories from Amazon little life hack for you first thing I got was a few beanies so I got a white beanie because I just do not have one again I used to have one but I just don't know where I put it like I put it somewhere in the move and I just don't know where it is so I bought this thing it was literally like four pound and I also got it in the red because we all know how much I love red and I feel like it would be like a really nice form of colour in a picture. You guys know I love a good sock. So I purchased some burgundy socks which I thought would look cute with my Uggs and my burgundy Adidas. I was going to say special so my gazelles, my burgundy ones. And I also got a pair of red socks. Again, I think these were literally like £4 each. I got this scarf, which I'm unsure whether I'm going to keep it or not. But I'm going to try and shoot it and see and hopefully I will actually like it. I'm going to bring it with me and see if we like it but i think all these like american kind of girls do these like really cute like christmasy pictures and they're like wearing these really like festive jumpers and like little leg warmers and stuff so i saw this scarf and I thought this might be quite cute to style like a fur coat or like just some kind of coat and like earmuffs or a beanie like this white beanie which i just showed you guys could look quite cute just like sat at a cafe it's actually just cute for like the festive season in general as well or even with like little red socks i thought it could look cute so i bought this to try and start again it was super cheap it was like seven pounds quality feels really really nice as well so i'll link all of these items down below oh and i also got these which i didn't realize how big these were going to be but i've been seeing everyone on instagram at the moment wearing these like like flower kind of clip things in their hair and i wanted to like try out the trend but i didn't want to spend a load of money on like one clip so i found these on amazon they're a pack of four and I'm pretty sure these were like £7 or £8 for four. And these feel like amazing quality. And they're really, really big. 
so you get a nude a pink a red and a navy blue and i just thought for the evening or for like even like in the day of like a little jumper of like this i like clipped at the back could look so cute but it is quite big like i didn't realize how big it was going to be let me try and see if i can pop it in my hair just can't deal with these short days i think that's half the reason for my lack of motivation So yeah, it's quite cute. I'll link these down below if you guys are interested. I even thought of like the summer as well, just with like a bikini or something. They could look really cute. They're literally like a claw clip. So they're super easy to put in, but they're like a little rose. So they're very cute. So that was my little Amazon haul. That was my little PR haul. Um, I don't really know what else I'm doing with my day, honestly. I need to sit and edit some pictures because... Again, I've just not got on top of that. And I feel like every single evening I sit and stress. And my Instagram was like, it was doing pretty good. Like the last few months it's been, like I've been growing, it's been doing really, really well. And then I feel like the influx of like Christmas ads come and it just, just goes down. So if you see this, please go and give anything a little like, a little engagement, always helps so much. I'm just gonna put on one of these NARS blushes. might be a new fave got like a slight like shine to them as well love that so it is <clears throat> a little while later now i have still not dried my hair i don't want to like self-diagnose myself but i don't know if anyone else on here has been diagnosed with like late stage adh not late stage like late in life adhd because it's getting ridiculous now like some of the things that i do like i washed my hair like hours ago and i'm like i've got loads of things i need to do all in different rooms i like do one thing and then i'm like sit on my phone like start editing and it's like oh some, i've got to get gifting from something so i sit and pick all of that then i realized i haven't packed away what i was going to do in the kitchen from like an hour ago go and do that sit down to edit again then realize i never picked the gifting thing that i was meant to do before i still haven't dried my hair like i don't know i've i've seen a lot of tiktoks on it and I've, that's kind of the thing that people get at um i don't think i've got it in the sense of like high like i know it's like really miscon like it's a misconception that it's like due to like hyperactivity especially in like young boys but um it's more like my brain like just can't focus on one thing like i literally am just like like my finger is in so many different pots all at once and i just really struggle to like just complete one job like i just cannot sit still and just do one thing like I just can't <laughs> unless it was gonna make a tea like two hours ago and i still haven't done that either so i don't know if any of you guys have had a similar experience or could just like let me know if that's something that i could potentially have like from that um i can discuss like some more things about it on here but yeah i don't want to be one of those people that like self-diagnoses themselves but some of the things i do and like some of the tiktoks that i see it's like exactly what i'm like so yeah just struggling a little bit with that sat like listening to music so like that always helps me just kind of like get in the zone like from editing especially i feel like i need like music on also my skin's looking really rosy from that um little blush that i put on the nars so i was going to tell you guys my spotify wrapped because i never really discussed my music on here i never really discussed it on youtube i've never discussed it on instagram either like i just i find it like a little bit I don't know like my music taste is like so so personal and it's also really really random so i've just never really like discussed it on here but i'm gonna just get my spotify wrapped to see just like tell you guys um i also fun fact when i was younger i used to be absolutely petrified like if i was talking to a boy or like when i was first like talking to boys at school and i'd be like oh like what like who's your favorite singer like what's your favorite song like it would just fill me with so much anxiety i do not know why like i feel like i go through such phases with artists where i'm like obsessed with them one minute and then the next year i'm like I barely listen to them so i don't want someone to like know me for like that artist and then i end up like going off them or or whatever so it's always just been like a weird thing about me is i just don't really like to discuss it but i thought i'd just tell you guys my source if i wrapped again this is this year probably will change next year probably was heavily influenced by the fact that i saw scissor in o2 um probably influence a lot of my a lot of my things let me go on my wrapped
kind of random some drum and bass. Scissor, of course. So I played 1,071 songs in 2023. My top song was Snooze by Scissor. Love Drake. Drake was my second. And then again, it changes to Taylor Swift. She was like my third, so. So my top July month listener was Scissor. April was Drake. March was Chris Brown. September was Taylor Swift. And March was Daisy Jones and the Six. If you guys have seen that, my obsession with this was crazy. Right, so the roundup was one was Scissor, two was Drake, three was Chris Brown, four Taylor Swift, five Daisy Jones and the Six. And if I got my top songs, because I also like that such like a small portion of my music taste, but that's clearly just what my obsessions were this year. So I've got some John Mayer, got some Taylor Swift, some Pop Smoke, Daisy Jones and the Six. Party Next Door, Morgan Wallen, Declan McKenna, um, Chris Brown, Thames, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Tears for Fears, Dire Straits, Electric Light Yellow, um, Post Malone. I literally, me and Danny love this song. This is the group America. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, but clearly I've just lost the plot. I just get in such like a mood of like music where I go through such phases. Um, what other songs did I love this year? I love how some of them are literally like manifestation frequency because that is what I like fall asleep to. So clearly that's going to be one of my most like listened to things on her. Um, I love Red Hot Chili Peppers and if you like them, this song. I literally have a very, very very music taste. Where's that Taylor Swift song? I wanted to listen to that. I can't remember what it's called. Oh yeah, I've got Madonna on here as well. This is always a fave. My country, I love Noah Cyrus at the moment as well. Oh yeah, like, this is preparing me for IB for next year. That was a little deep dive into my music of 2023. Like I said, it probably changed completely next year. The only artists, I guess, that like solidly like ingrained in my love are like Red Hot Chili Peppers, Fleetwood Mac. Um, I love Catching the Bottomman as well. If you were like a 16 year old at the peak of Catfish and the Bottomman, like that was like my whole personality when I was like from 14 to like 17. So yeah, but like everything kind of changes. But yeah, I was obsessed with Scissor last year and I think she's releasing a new album literally like next week. So that's me very excited. <laughs>